y'all. So, welcome. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, appreciate y'all. I thought I would do a short little color and chat. I am working on this Linda Ravenscroft. This is from, you know, I don't even remember. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, her first book. Fairy and Fantasy Art, book one. I have a flip through, if you haven't seen, of all of her books. If you wanna go check that out. I am working with Derwent Ink Tints. This is Iris Blue. And I do this a few ways. If you are not familiar with Derwent Ink Tints, it is like a watercolor in a pencil, but yet it is ink. So once it dries, it's not movable, unlike watercolors. Um, you can get them in a watercolor palette uh, or the pencil. Right now I'm, I'm, I got the full set of ink tents, which I featured that in a recent haul video. It was a Mother's Day present. And you can use them one of three ways to my knowledge. If there's more, hey, whatever. You can, and this is just a water brush, you can take it straight from the pencil and then go to your paper. You can scribble some down on a palette, pick it up with your brush, and you can use a regular paint brush dipped in water also. It doesn't have to be a water brush. I'm just using, and this is just a Pentel aqua brush. And um, you can also go straight to, to the paper, which is what I'm doing now. This is deep blue. I'm going to start with that. Um, so you know, uh, the little leafy guys are done with ink tints and the skin tones that I'm not fond of really and not too crazy about um, are all Black Widow skin tones and that was I have I don't have any of the Black Widow sets um, they're on my wish list but I haven't got to them yet however I do have the dark skin tone set and the light skin tone set but I hadn't really fiddled with them much so I thought well I'm gonna bust them out and just lay some down and play and that's what I did. I was trying to get a little bit of variety on the tones and eh, I don't know. It'll work. It is what it is. And this I'm just gonna, again, like I said, I'm going straight on the paper. I'm gonna do this guy's outfit in blues. So I'm gonna lay down some of my dark. Just work it around. This part is kind of like colored pencil, but honestly, um, it is forgiving since when you hit it with the water, that's when the magic happens. So you can be a little less, I don't want to say messy per se, but you can be a little less precise and get your general idea and everything kind of happens and comes together when you put the water on. So, it's been a busy past week for a lot of fellow YouTubers doing their finished colored pages. I have enjoyed going around and trying to show some love hit those thumbs up for everybody and um, checking out what everyone got done for the month of May like always there's incredible stuff that everyone got done I always love seeing um, the variety of different things that people are coloring and also seeing the same pictures colored by some and yet have such a variety in the style of coloring and the color choices and it's just one of the 
extra perks of this hobby. You know, to just have so much variety involved. I think I said that word a lot. And then I'm going to hit some of these shaded parts with this darker. I'm trying to up my water play. Um, as I mentioned, I had just, well, I had a smaller set. I had a 24 set of ink tents for quite a long time. And y'all, if you don't have them, let me tell you, if you're interested, they last forever. Um, the 24 set that I have, I had them for, oh gosh, at least three years. And you can hardly tell, and I was using them, and you can hardly tell any is gone. I mean, they just keep going and going, which is awesome. And I was just enjoying them so much that I wanted to increase the amount of colors that I had and that's why they were on my hit list for a Mother's Day present from my hubby and kids and I so appreciate that of them and I'm also trying to get into watercolors more I actually which is posted on my Instagram if you don't follow me there, come come check it out. Follow. And on there is posted my first official a majority all watercolor page. It was another Linda picture. Um, I was disappointed in the skin, but it was it was my first time doing a skin tone in watercolors, so I'm like, well, you know, I'm playing on the side on blank paper, and I have a couple, um, uh, not so great coloring books that I won't mention the, what they are, but that I'm using as play pages with the watercolor, but it's kind of difficult because the paper's not great either, so it's a whole, you know, has a whole different effect, basically. So I'm going to go in and throw in my lighter color again, which was the iris blue. And I'm going to fill in all these other parts. Um, so I'm, I, I'm a pencil girl. I love my color pencils. I always will. I'm never going to give my color pencils up. That's for sure. However, um, I have lightly in tiny areas added some watercolors here and there along the way but I've just started you know I wanted I want to go bigger I want to do full pages I want to learn um, some watercoloring techniques and I want to um, just play and have fun so I'm working on that and I just have a couple small sets of watercolors. Um, hopefully I'll branch out and obtain some other watercolor things. And just incorporate it more in even um, using watercolor as a base, which this is also worked like that because once I do all the parts that I'm going to with the zinc tents, I will be going back in with some pencil for a little bit of additional shading and detail work. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it seems like a versatile medium, the ink tents and watercolors. So I want to learn them and get more comfortable with them I think getting comfortable with it all is a lot of the process also at least initially um, just getting comfortable with 
you know, the different techniques and holding the brush and <clears throat> how much water is too much water, how much water is what I'm after and how much color and playing with mixing colors and learning and seeing how they react together and what they can do and uh, wet on wet versus dry and just all the different things. Um, but I'm excited about it. I guess that's a good thing at least that <laughs> it's exciting me. Um, and hopefully I will definitely be incorporating it in more pictures and sharing more of ink tint slash watercolor style work with y'all and you guys can see my progress that's another reason why the first picture I've ever done that's nearly completely all I shared on my Instagram which when I say nearly completely her hair is pencil her eyeballs are pencil and her lips are pencil and the rest of it is watercolor um, I have noticed that I'm going to go back down here with the dark on this collar rim. Watercolor can be a lot of different ways, no doubt, but I mean a lot of, for the most part, when you think watercolor, you think of a um, more translucent, maybe even soft type of effect. And... I don't think that mine are going to be that way. <laughs> um, on that first picture that I've done, I just kept building layers and building layers and building layers. And so if you actually go to my Instagram and check that picture out, you will notice that her dress is all red, but it is dark. It is not really see through -y at all and it's just super dark and I like it I the probably one of my favorite parts about that picture is her dress I love that and the background the blue tone that I ended up getting um, so now I'm just gonna take my water brush and I'm gonna go over um, you can do this in a variety of ways some people go do their darks and then get into their lights or light to do whatever I I am no expert by any means, but I kind of do a little bit of everything, I think. I think I just full-fledged mix and try to hit darks. Um, and as you see, it's just going to come to life. But anyway, so I think that with my watercoloring, it's going to have a more opaque um, or at least more opaque for watercolor type of a look. And I'm okay with that. I just think that's just gonna be my way. I like deep colors, bold colors, bright colors. Um, again, if you go through my Instagram and see other pictures I've done and, and my pencils, you'll notice um, there's a lot, they're dark and, and just, <sighs> dark in a sense of I guess what's the words I'm looking for here um, really saturated really rich I don't know if that would be right word so anyway yeah it's one of my wet stuff is one of my new play things and I'm just having fun and enjoying it And you can really see from where I've hit it with the water versus the spots that I have not, how it works out. And like I said, you can still come in with your pencil and add some more shading or texture or detail, whatever, whatever floats your boat, y'all. And that's kind of what I've been working on and working with. I know that I will have to get me another whip going on that's 
kind of just pencil stuff so I can have a break when need be plus I miss my pencils a little bit I've been playing with my wet stuff so much that I kind of miss them all so I want to keep working with those also so like many of you at least here in the states the kids are officially on summer break which I love I love when the kids are on break I love when it's summertime I love having them home I love the weather so we're all happy about summer break for sure and I can't say that we have any big big plans or anything um, we will have our big 4th of July party of course and just like last year I'll be live streaming that on Instagram and then I uploaded the video from that live on YouTube so you can find it here on my um, video list as well but being that it's on a Monday which is kind of a conflict with work for a lot of folks um, we're going to actually be doing that on July 2nd which is a Saturday and we just I don't know we have a bunch of couples that we all go in together and we get a bunch of big fireworks and we're gonna have a hog roast We'll be playing cornhole and horseshoes and volleyball. And there's a big pool for the kids to swim in. Um, usually at some point during the day, somebody gets some karaoke going on. There'll be lots of good music playing. we just get together with um, friends and some family and friends that are so close and go so far back that they're basically family a lot of my in-person circle consists of people who have been in me and my husband's lives for a long time since we were teenagers basically a lot of us all grew up together and of course we've added well me and my husband's been together since we were teenagers and the rest of them they've added um, spouses and we've all added children to the mix but we've all been hanging out and celebrating the fourth and other holidays and birthdays for many many moons now it's great it's always a good time and just being summer is great we'll go hit a couple lakes a couple times so you can see what's happening here now I'm gonna go back and grab my pencils and do some shirt work here got to decide get lost in the darkness over here so I got to decide where I think where a shoulder line would be maybe I think I'll call it about right there that'll work so yeah we have a place that's a, a natural spring type place we always like to go there we will do some canoe trips we're always big on canoe trips and we usually have a pretty good group again family friends all that um, we usually have 20 30 or so in our canoeing groups 
and we'll go out. We'll go the same same two main places, I guess. We have we've been to a few others, but like you know, we have our favorite spots. So that's we always make a point of hitting those. But you know, we're always open to check out new places too. The kids look forward to canoeing every year. They're getting older, so they're, you know, more of a participant in canoeing than just a passenger. Usually, at this point, it used to be my, we used to be me and my husband and my son and my daughter. We'd all be in a canoe together, and the two kids would sit in the middle, sometimes with one of my dogs that goes on many adventures with us, and... Then they graduated up to being older and old enough to my son goes with my husband and my daughter comes with me and you know she's an official rower and <laughs> she has to work and help out and she does a good job and me and her actually canoe quite well together um, which is kind of weird but well, not, I shouldn't say that, but, you know, she's a, a teenage daughter, so we can buck heads a little bit. Nothing too bad or serious, but, you know, it's there. <laughs> but we are pretty in sync when you put us in a canoe. But she's wanting to uh, kayak. Hopefully my hand, I'm me being a lefty here, hopefully I haven't been blocking you all out. But uh, she wants to try her hand at canoeing and she's 15 so here in a few months she'll be old enough to get her driver's permit and start driver's ed. So I think she'd be big enough to operate a kayak on her own <laughs> so that might happen this year we'll have to see won't be doing any big trips or going out of state um, several reasons for that some are kind of obvious given some of the prices of some things kind of takes the fun out of certain road trips I guess but we will be enjoying ourselves fairly locally and at home just enjoying time at home that's a nice thing sometimes too but I'm definitely a summer baby and my kids are they both have winter birthdays, but as they're, they're summer babies too, we're all water babies. And that has a lot to do with it. We like it when it's warm enough to be swimming and going to the creek, which we will be doing some of that. We would have hit the creek this week, but we ended up getting rain. And so water levels are a little higher than desired for that type of play. But we'll be walking to a creek here soon. You see, that's fairly quick. Um, I think I'm going to go over here to this guy and let his hat and cloak and stuff be blue, too. My plan is he's going to be blue clothes, blue clothes. Um, we're going to go reds, and he'll be reds, him, her, whatever. And these two, I'm not sure. So I got my red and my blues. I'm thinking either possibly oranges like orangey burnt orange brown tones i think that's where these guys are going to land still undecided but that's that's what i'm feeling anyway so we'll we'll see and then his hat has three peaks to it i just noticed i'm wanting this to, like, to be one thing but it's not but that's okay so yeah, 
water babies, summer babies. Now me and my husband are actually born birthdays in the summer. Um, he just had his birthday this past Sunday. My daughter baked him his birthday cake like she always does. She has been baking everybody's birthday cakes, except her own of course, for the last I don't know, five or six years now. And she does a good job. It's like, okay. We used to do it together all the time, obviously, and my son too. Um, now he'll help her sometimes, and sometimes they'll just randomly bake cookies or brownies. But she's definitely got her birthday cake game going on. So that's like a tradition now that she does that. I think she likes it too which is cool. We went out with my father-in-law and everybody always gets to pick if we're going out. Sometimes we stay home and I cook the person's favorite meal. But sometimes we will go out and if we're going out, that person gets to pick where we eat. And hubby chose a steakhouse, of course. I knew that was going to be his choice, which is fine. Nobody was complaining, that's for sure. And now, my birthday is the next one coming up. June 30th, end of the month. My husband, we're both June babies, but my husband is can or Gemini, and I am Cancer. turn I've been working on having house plants which we are pushing two years in this house so we bought this house two years ago almost crazy how fast that time has went it's like it, it's crazy to think that we've been here almost two years but then at the same time this house suits us so much and it feels like home and it felt like home right from the get-go that it kind of feels like we've been here forever too even though we haven't and um but at the old place I tried to have house plants and I don't know I guess it was a combination of a lot of things. Um, didn't have the best lighting. I had a really super shady yard, which that was good for a lot of reasons too, but um, me being busy and not, not giving them a, the attention that they may have needed possibly, um, maybe that was part of a factor also. But I, killed all the plants I couldn't keep a plant I was just not lucky at house plants but I want them I love plants love flowers outside I did fine with my flowers outside that was fine at the old place house plants no go so we got here and I got some house plants and my husband said oh no you got more victims I was like really have a little faith well, as I said, we're pushing two years and I have 30 plus house plants. I have cut and grown plants off of other plants I have and everybody's doing good. Everything's been great. Everything's been going well until recently. In the last few weeks, I have one plant that hangs from the ceiling has been there its whole life in my house has been doing great and just thick and lush and long because it's a um and i may not say this correctly plant people so forgive me but it's po potheus potheus i'm learning and um i have three others 
and they're all done great and the rest are doing beautiful and all of a sudden this one that's hanging in the window it's it's just starting to change it don't look as uh, how to say it I've gotten more yellowing leaves um, and they look curled I don't want to say like it's they're not like wilty but the their edges is curling and it has been happy for like two years and it has done great for like two years and I don't know I don't know what's happening to it but it don't feel good it don't like something um, I've made sure you know I've been on a very strict watering schedule I, I have it's a measuring cup so the water is measured and I've been taking notes like from day one keeping track so I knew what they were liking and, and what was working and where I was at and you know just to keep repeating that and something's not working now I don't know what I've done wrong I talked to them um, I <laughs> I mean I do all the things and uh, I don't know all the rest of the plants are still doing great I haven't had any problems or loss of plant at all since I've been here except I will say I had a friend who um, does a lot of those she has an app for curb alerts and she does a lot of curb alert pickups and she did a curb alert pickup and noticed that somebody had thrown away two cactus now these were two about the size of my fist cactus round um, some roots showing and a clump of dirt they weren't in any type of pot whatsoever and they were in the trash well she gave those to me she's like well I, I'm not a she's not a plant person she here good luck and so I potted them you know had the gravel the whole bit going on because I looked them up and um, one of them I think was like almost dead when she brought them to me one of them is doing great and the other one it didn't it didn't come around at all and so that was a loss but I don't count that as my loss like I did I didn't do it it came to me like that I don't think I caused it and the other one perked up it's doing beautiful it's grown all kinds of stuff looks pretty healthy so yeah I just don't know what's up with this one plant and it's bothering me hopefully I can get it figured out and save it I really don't want to lose any plant and again like I say um we are going on two years in house and I still don't have this is so bad I still don't have all my belongings here um, I have a couple other properties and I have belongings at both <laughs> and some of them are furniture pieces and uh, there's a couple furniture pieces that I plan on getting that's going to come down here to my art area and be art supply, junk journaling, all that whatnot jazz storage keepers. Which I keep, you know, sometimes I'll say my art area. Or just my place it's we have a finished basement I've mentioned this before and I've claimed one section of it and I don't know I don't know I want to call it my art studio but what qualifies as an art studio I mean, I'm not like a professional artist obviously but I don't know it's it's my studio so you know so right now I've still got some things like out in front of my desk I have a few 
pump it up and get a little water going on here. I have a few plastic totes and uh, boxes that are just full of things that I need to get unpacked and put out, put up, put away basically. That's driving me crazy. I want to get that done and set things up. I've got things I want to hang on the walls. I want, I have some art that I have done and there's a couple things I have from other YouTubers that were sent to me that I want to get hung up on the walls down here around me. So another ongoing project basically. <laughs> Now I have a few things done already, of course, but I even have a one of the light, lights that are hanging above me. I don't have any special lights. I do know that I do want to get, and if anybody watching um, makes their videos, comment down below and tell me about lights, um, particularly when it comes for art. I mean, I've heard uh, natural daylight lamps but then I heard they get really hot I hear a lot of different things so anyone who has personal experience you know let me know what kind of lighting you use um, that isn't bad on glare and gives you like the truest color type light for your artwork, your coloring, because I'm interested in checking out some stuff. But anyway, I have an antique lamp that's hanging above me. It used to be an actual um, oil lamp, and it's converted to electric. Of course, it's red on the top and bottom. There's two layers to it. I love my lamp. My husband hung it up there for me. It's right above my desk. And then I have like a a dresser bedroom vanity type lamp right on the desk next to me on the right hand side because I put it on my right hand side because I'm a lefty because if it's on my left side then I get the shadow cast from my hand and it you know I can't see my eyes aren't the greatest so coloring in a shadow don't help but yeah I'm want to find some other light or lights um, that may be better not just for filming purposes but just for you know working under that lamp so yeah so not just a light that you'd only want to use while making videos or doing lives but something I'd want to use all the time that's going to give me nice light for this type of stuff um, it would that's all I do at the desk is um, coloring and junk journaling a little bit of glue book type of work and so there he is blue again more detail and everything put in so yeah if again if you have any suggestions please let me know see I get this little white spot going on And I can come in and just add some more color. It doesn't really matter that it's not completely dry. I'll activate that a little bit. So yeah, that's some quick basic ink tense play, which again, I'm not an expert hitting my ink tints and some watercolors um, is 
on the newer side to me, but that's a little idea if you're not familiar with ink tints. So I think I'm gonna jump off of here. I gotta pick some more colors. I just grabbed these two pencils out and actually if you're curious, these were the two greens that I used on the leaves. Um, fern and light olive is what I did on those leaves so far. I'm gonna pick some colors for my reds. Like I said, I'm, I'm really leaning into that orange, burnt orange brown area for these two. I'm still thinking up my background ideas, but I have a few. We'll see where that goes. So anyway, y'all, I just thought I'd come on, chit chat. Working on this page anyway, so you know, definitely a whip. I have another whip, which she's completely done and it's a page out of that new Daria aka Color and Chicks book and she's done I just haven't done her background and I know what I want to do with the background which involves watercolors or neos I'm not sure neo color twos which was another Mother's Day present um, so I'm like side playing with those to see about the effect to see if I can get it to do what I want it to do on that page so she's almost done. Um, I just got to figure it out. Figure out how to do it. Um, then I can call her completely done. And I'm trying to think. I want to start a couple other whips. Like I said, I want to start one that's pencil. But I'm not sure. I almost feel like I might do a page in Serene. That, that might be where I go, possibly. Or Salvic Beauties. I really like that book and I haven't gotten to that book yet and it's mostly because I'm scared to color in it because I don't want to mess the book up or I don't want to have you know, pages I can't color again. So I'll probably scan a picture from that. I'll definitely do that with Serene also. Just scan one off and print on my own paper. Um, but I really love those two books and the Salvic Beauty. I have a flip through of that book if you're not familiar. Um, check it out because I think it's a great book. All right guys, thanks for watching if you've hung in this long. Don't forget to hit that like, leave me a comment below, especially if you can tell me something about my plant or some lighting recommendations, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you're not already, if you are in the mood, subscribe, it's free. Until next time, later y'all.